Hello, what's up guys? I'm Daniel and I'm going to show you how to set up a um, Unreal Script environment using Notepad++ and how to set up um, to edit your stuff so that you can compile everything. First, I'm going to assume you have these downloaded and installed. There will be links for each of them in the description um, the this here I will I have an edited version because um, I don't like the colors that this supplies they're too dark for my taste if you like dark colors then it'll be great for you if not then I will also supply you with a download to my version of this script so first Make sure you have them all installed and open up your notepad. Plus plus. <clears throat> Actually, you don't need to open that. Forgive me. Open up this and just extract the user defined language and then just go ahead and edit this. Right click and uh, rename. And just simply delete this part. The, the underscore unreal script. So that just says user define lang dot xml. Okay. And now what you're going to want to do is go to run and type in um, uh, um, crap, per percentage sign. I am sorry, I forgot what it's called. Percentage sign um, app data. And I spelled data wrong. I am sorry. And just push enter. And now just go find your notepad plus plus. Open it. And then drag this in. It's that simple. If you want to open it, you can just right click and edit with notepad plus plus. And if you just edit these colors down here, you can change your colors yourself. And now you can open up notepad and now you get nice highlights for your um, .uc which is what we will be working with now go ahead and install uncodex and it will ask you for your source file folder so just open up to the UDK, whichever one you have. I have the I have this month's well last month's, and you're gonna to want to show it to this folder right here, development source. And once it's pointed to the source, don't point it to anything in here. Point it to the source file SRC, and right here, um, this is where it is for me. C UDK UDK 2011. 09 development and then source and then it will um i believe it will ask you for a name you can go ahead and give it a name of the game or mod you are making or you can just simply stick with my mod this is what i'm working with here um s3td which it stands for super sat squatch saves the day and I think it's clever because the last three letters are STD. Saves the day. Super Sasquatch STD. It just sounds naughty. And you can go ahead and um, if you right click a, a .uc and go to properties. And then you can change what it opens with. And I like Notepad++. And then just apply. And whenever you double click it, it will open up a notepad so that you can edit it. Now I'm not going to be showing you how to edit these files yet in this uh, tutorial, but what you will want to do is, at least with these three, um, the .info, the, the, the game info, the game pawn, and the player controls, you're going to want to um, open up Actor right here in uncodex hopefully you have it installed by now and then you're going to want to go down to controller and then player controller 
Game Player Controller, UDK Player Controller, UT Player Controller. And then all you do is you simply right click and create a subclass. Now the package is going to be what the um, the classes you made here. So mine is S3TD. And you can just simply keep it in, keep the parent class how it is, and then name it just so that you don't get confused. Name it by your class. Um, I I was too lazy to put the three in, so I just put STD, and then keep in the name um, player controller. And then you're going to also want to do that with go in, down to info, game info, and then framework game, simple game. UDK game and then UT game and then right click do the same thing but on this one it's it's better to name it what it is S3TD and then info just so that you don't get mi mi mixed up with your class and your um, UT game class your main package and your class I'm sorry and then you're going to want to come down to pawn then game pawn, UDK pawn, and UT pawn. Right click, create subclass, and then do the same thing. Just name it by your, um, you know, STD pawn for me. Uh, if your game's name is Super Horrible Death Killer, then call it Super Horrible Death Killer pawn. And of course, that's not extremely important, but you do want to um, um, name them something that you can remember so that you know that when you are editing these files in your editor, you know exactly what you're editing, your info, your pawn, and your player controller. Now, this is all I have so far. I just got done watching... Um, Michael Allure, I think it's four, four. Um, I forget his, his. Let me check real quick. I check on my computer, except I'm not connected to the internet. So, um, fourcourse.com. I'll put a link to his stuff. He has the same tutorial, but it's over an hour long. So I just simply wanted to make a shorter one, that um, is just one part. He separates his his um, Notepad plus plus and his setting this up part. So um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, after you save all of those, you're going to want to edit your. Um, let's see. UDK game config. You're going to want to go ahead and just apply by type. I mean, so sort by type, and then any of the UDK.INIs, go ahead and delete all of those and keep your defaults. That way, whenever, um, whenever you're compiling, it compiles with the defaults and not the UDK development um, configuration. So go ahead. You can just shift delete or what I did at first is I threw them in a backup just in case you can do that it doesn't matter they they make new ones at, after every time so um there you are and then you're gonna want to edit the default engine dot I, I, I and I and the default game dot I and I and then here you're just going to edit your um you put in your map name just make a simple map a nice little test bed if you if you want and then you will want to edit if you want to put in a game name you may have to put that in manually the game name's not there by default anymore um and then in here you're going to want to put in your default game which is going to be your um your dot info hopefully you made a, a the info you're gonna wanna put in your your package and then the info folder 
and put those in the, there and then put in your player controller hopefully everything is just default for now um you don't have to worry about putting this stuff in if you if you just make it it automatically makes it the default stuff and then you can just keep everything here basically the same after that and then um make sure you save everything you can either click sa uh save individual files here if you're new to um um notepad plus plus or click this and it saves all your files all right so then you open up your front end your unreal front end you can just search for it if you don't have it on your desktop i like having all of my the stuff i use mostly right there and then just go ahead and um rebuild everything rebuild scripts and or you can full recompile or whatever after it's done, I've already rebuilt this just to save time. You can go ahead and just click launch, and then it'll launch up. It's going to be really loud, so um, just a warning. Oh, if you have a map, you're going to want to cook it also. You're going to want to add it, and then cook it. Or else you'll get an, it, it'll shut down, you'll get an error. So, your game will open up, and then since I don't have any, since I haven't edited anything, it opens up to my, my map. This is going to be sort of a, um, a th 3D side scroller, I guess you could say. So the camera is going to be over here somewhere and I'm going to be walking around and yeah, you get the idea. So you, if you exit here, it's just going to restart. So just push the uh, the tilde up here and type in exit. And then it will close. And that is it. Um, after that, you should have everything um, done pretty, pretty well. And then we can get to editing our, our, um, our classes to make an awesome game. And maybe there, there might be zombies. And everyone loves zombies. So, all right. Thanks for watching. And again, check out the the um, fourcourse.com. He has great tutorials. Some of them are pretty long, though. So I like to just sum everything up as fast as I can. And um, yep, I think I'm not forgetting anything. So I'm gonna ramble on a few more minutes because that's what I do. And you guys can just stop watching now if you're only here for the tutorial. Um, but just so you know, I will be using Blender for everything and GIMP. So um, other tutorials in the future when I'm making other stuff for this game other than just um, the Unreal script. Oh, excuse me. I'll be using um, Blender and GIMP for everything. Just because I like having, I like using free stuff, so that um, someone watching the tutorial, is, you know, sitting there watching, excited to learn something new, and then bam, oh man, I have to spend three hundred bucks for this software. And um, what I've what I've seen is it's easier to um, learn something on a free version of something, on a uh, an open source version of something, and then transfer over to something expensive later on than sort of testing something out as aka pirating something and um and yeah and then realizing you can't really use it for legitimate uh products so if you're familiar with blender awesome you're probably better than me i've been using it for about a week and I barely use GIMP, but um, it's just like Photoshop, um, except except free. And whatever GIMP can't do that Photoshop can, you can find a plugin for GIMP. But that is a really weird word, so I would see why someone wouldn't want to use it. GIMP. Okay, so I'm done rambling now. You guys have a great day, and... Um, stick around and I will have another video up possibly soon so yeah goodbye